everybody, welcome back to the video. I'm Football Elephant Gaming here, and today we're playing some more Balakat. So today, um, we are actually prepared for a double evolution today. Yes, that is right. Did a little bit of grinding, so we have enough to get Monk Cat into Sanzo Cat. Almost, you'll notice we're one Yellow Cat Food Seed away, but that is on purpose because the other cat we are evolving is Artist Cat into Ramen Cat, who we do have enough for. So Ramen Cat is the best anti-angel in the entire game. He's a meat shield because he's resistant to angelic attacks, and I'm pretty sure he has something like 80,000 health against angels. So basically he replaces all of the meat shields for a while, and against angels we'll always replace all of the meat shields. So we're actually going to start with that. Um, we're going to use him, because if you didn't know, yellow is um, uh, angel, so we're going to use him to get the last yellow cat food seed, hopefully. Um, worst case scenario we'll have to use a leadership or two, but hopefully we'll just be able to do it. Ramen cat. Noodles might seem like a simple dish, but they need an artist's touch to master. Flashy prep style also boosts defense versus angels. I mean, obviously. But yeah, he's super cool. So we don't have quite enough XP either. We need a bit more XP, but it is. Happens to land that today is the first day of Uberfest, which if you didn't know, your rare tickets, you're meant to spend them on Uber or Epic Fest. So it's Uberfest now, so I get to spend them. Um, honestly, I don't know what I'm going to... I'm not going to mention anything that I want. Because although there are quite a few cats I want, there's nothing I'm, like, in dire need of, so let's just see what we get. Boop -ba -da -boop. I hope we get something useful, though, because I don't really want, like, two thief cats or something. You, I don't have you, so I'll take you. You are a witch cat, right? Witch cat, yeah. What do you do? Might slow red enemies. That sounds very horrible, but okay, you might be good. I don't know. Maybe your evolve form gives you something else. Da -da -da -doop. And you suck. Robo cat. I'm not going to upgrade you yet. I'm going to put you in storage because I don't know if you're good, to be honest. Um, well, that kind of sucks, but that's not the end of the world. Okay, so we do have to do at least one doo -doo 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 -doo. growing yellow stage. So I'm going to quickly switch up my loan. We're doing it on the hard, by the way, because, um, well, we want the cat food seed, which hard gives you the most likely chance to get. Also, I really want epic cat food. And if you don't know, if you beat these stages, the cat food stages, you can get access to the Cat Fruit Jubilee, which is a combined of all of them, it's harder. Um, but if you beat it, you get a chance for an epic cat fruit. I've beaten one so far, but not anything else than that. So if we're lucky, we'll get real lucky, we'll be able to get that as well. Ooh, new cat come. Is that with Ramen Cat? No. Ramen Cat? No, Witch and Bandage Cat. Slow effect up small. I mean, it's not bad. It's a good bonus. Like, no, there's freeze effect up small too. Those are good bonuses. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm happy with my attack up, but not bad. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, I think this is the loan we're going to use. Just in case we make it into the next stage. So we're definitely going to have to use leadership because we still need more XP. And there are stages I'm planning on at least trying to do with Ramen and hopefully with Sanzo's help as well. So yeah, um, I'm pretty confident for the stage, but I'm going to save up a little bit because I don't want to lose. That's not that good. So let's send in a ramen cat. So he looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I really like his hairstyle. Like, you can see beads of sweat. Let's see how well he does against a single angel. Incredible. So just to put this into clarification, this angel cat um, takes, I think it's three hits from cyborg cat and will kill cyborg cat easily without meat shields. He's tanking them on, he's doing good damage. Not insane, obviously, worse than cyborg, but not horrible damage. And he hasn't even been knocked back yet. I don't know how many knockbacks he has. So maybe he only has like one or something. But regardless, that's still insanely good. Why on earth did I summon Windy in an angel level when angels are immune to... Uh, I don't know. So yeah, we definitely don't need the other meat shield. Man, he's insane. Okay, so he has no knockbacks. But still, that was pretty good. That was a lot of dogs or doges that he was taking on. And keep in mind... I mean, yes, this is Angel, so he's, I think, actually, I don't think it's even four, because I think I don't have all the treasures. I think it's only, like, three point something times more health against it. But that's it. His damage is the same against everything. And even at, like, less than a third of his health, compared to this, that's still a lot of health. That could still be super useful, because honestly, um, compared to my other meat shields, it's still a ridiculous amount more health, especially since I still don't have a racer cat, so I'm stuck with either Macho Cat or Samba Cat, who I'm gonna use Samba and, um, uh, Ramen Cat, I think. That went super well. Come on, Cat Food Seed. We got the Cat Food. And we didn't get the Jubilee. What 
we're doing it again then. Hopefully we at least give me one of those. Hopefully we'll get both because if we do get the epic cat food, I can start going for another super good cat. The first super rare that I'm going to go for, which is, um, it is, what's the name? Can Can Cat, who is one of the best journalist cats in the game. I think he slash she does like 40,000 damage per hit. It's pretty ridiculous. I'm not, you know what? Here's a fun test. Let's see if we can do this level entirely using ramen cats. We're just going to level up and use ramen. Because if we struggle, then whatever, we can probably win. We'll just have insane money. But I'm willing to bet that by just using ramen spam, we can probably beat this level. If one can do this well, can you imagine what this can? Like an army of like six, seven, eight? Because I think they're roughly as spammable as Cyborg, maybe even a little faster. So that's pretty good great. Like, they're not slow. And I mean, they're not cheap, but considering how long it takes to get them, their price is pretty reasonable. Only $315. It's something like double the cost of a um, uh, wall cat. And if you look at this, I'd say, I'd say they're doing a pretty good job. I mean, not bad, especially since, you know, doing this, we could have easily, well, A, we saved up our full wallet, we could have gotten crazy common cats, we could have gotten Wendy's, could have gotten any number of things. I'm not going to bother, I'm literally going to go ramen spam. And this was a joke. Like, with ramen spam, honestly, this level was a very easy joke. There's still so many coming, we have so much money. They're barely dying, and look at their damage to the base, they're doing good damage. Nothing insane, but good damage. Seed. Seed. Jubilee, no. One of these days, one of these days. So we don't have enough XP. We still need another 120,000 to get Sanzo Cap. But what I do want to do to start off is Wrath of Heaven, which is attack on the Angel Cyclone. So we're going to have to do some changes to our loadout, obviously. So the one thing that apparently is key to winning this level, because I did do a bit of research. So basically, this stage recommends Ramen, or not Ramen, Painter, Paris, Crazy Bahamut Cat, and where is he? Is he not here? Might be a super stilts cat. So I have stilts cat. They even specifically recommend stilts, not even the evolved form, which I think is a little funny. Um, so I have the evolved form of Ram cat, which is way better. I have the evolved form of cyborg cat. So even though my crazy Bahama cat's not that high level, I have a feeling this level is going to be pretty easy, especially since we also have ba ba da bam. Juliet Cat, who has, if I remember correctly, briefly freezes angels. Is this good? I don't know. Do I want to go for this? Or Hacker Cat? But at the same time, I don't think Island's very good, so we'll throw in Juliet still. Maybe Juliet will do something. Let's see how well this goes. I'm confident. I'm going to put on a rich cat, because otherwise there's only a 30% chance to get the item I want. If we lose, well, that sucks. But I mean, I have 18. It's not... Oh, not a rich cat. Treasure Eater. I have 18 of them. It's not that big of a deal. Let's get started. I'm confident in this working, though. I don't know. I haven't tried the stage at all. So I'm definitely a little nervous. But for Glad Save Up Money, I don't know if it comes on base hit or if it just comes automatically. If it comes automatically, then so much for saving money. But I have a feeling it's going to come on base hit. So one ramen cat should be good for now. I'll double check, monitor, make sure these dojos aren't like 10,000 times stronger than the other ones. Which is possible, but it seems like they're a little stronger, but not by much. So I'll summon our second ramen cat, especially since there is the, um, uh, what's his face, the hippo coming. So let's do three ramen cats. That's probably good. In fact, that might even be overkill. Let's see if I can save up two full wallet. I think I should be able to. I don't really know, but I think I should be fine. Yeah, I think that was a bit of overkill. I mean, they should stall. Like, there's another hippo. Even if we do kill them, it's easily going to give us enough time to reach max wallet. But I mean, these ramen cats are clearly way too powerful for these units. Yeah, that was interesting, to say the least. Well, let's start the ramen trail right away, honestly, because we're going to save up a lot of money. Plus, I'm pretty sure these enemies still give us, you know, some money. Yeah, that's, you know, some money. Nothing too crazy. I'm also going to start spamming stilts and Juliet's, because they're pretty key, and you don't get too many of them. Can we save up for um, a hacker cat, though? I still want hacker cat, and you ramen to use cyborgs as well, so we'll probably get some cyborgs as well. I don't know. Actually, I don't think Magic Cat's gonna be that useful because I don't think Magic Cat's gonna reach. Ooh, they finally killed one of the ramen cats. That was. That took a long time. Okay, we don't have Hacker Cat up. I would have liked to have him. I'm gonna stop. Oh, there we go. Hacker Cat. Okay, so I'm gonna stop doing Magic Cat and instead focus more on um, Cyber Cats. I think that's a better decision. 
And here's the Angelic Cyclone. Is that knockback useful? I don't know. Angel alert. Angel... Angels ignore anti-floating attacks. Luckily, I forgot my anti-floating today, so that's pretty lucky. Um, but yeah, so knockback is the main thing. So apparently, yeah, you can get a cycle like this where he doesn't even move. Like, he doesn't even get to attack much, the cyclone. But knockback is key, because I'm pretty sure Angelic Cyclone, I think it said, had no knockback, so it doesn't get knocked back. Um, Ramen Cat can tank a little, it seems, but not great. I'm going to start sending in the other meat shield, because... This unit's pushing back very, very quickly, and it's making me a little bit scared that this isn't going to work. Which I don't really like, because I was told that this would be an easy strategy, because, you know, I have I have the better cats. Except I was meant to use three meat shields, not two. And I'm only using two. And I wasn't meant to use Juliet, so maybe Juliet sucks and messes things up. Um, Might have to retry this with a third meat shield, because this isn't going great. So who knows, maybe now we're close to the base, maybe this is the key. Sometimes in a stage you really just need to get close. I don't think this is an example of that stage though. We lost. Badly. Okay, did we do any damage? It might tell us. 79%, we did not do much damage to him, so 21% is not that bad. Okay, so one thing that needs to be changed, obviously. Um, Juliet, you're not that good, so what we're going to switch you with is... Wall cat. Um, we're gonna switch you, and then we're gonna do that. Okay, I think that's it. Do I want to do a fourth meat shield? I don't think I'm gonna bother. I think that's it for now. Except I don't like I'm a Magica cat. I don't think Magica cat did a very good job. So is there something else I want to do instead of Magica cat? Can I sort by anti angel? I can filter. Anything too great? Anything all that special. Could do battle and pass Eh, yeah, sure, let's try to stall a little bit more money this time. Battle and time. I hope we can do this. I, I really hope we can do this. I know we can do this. Except I don't have a treasure radar this time, which I do want to use. I know it's potentially a waste. Since, you know, if we lose, then we've wasted two treasure radars. But if we win, then we wasted 200 energy if we don't get him. Which, it's a 30% chance, so it's not horrible. We're not guaranteed to not get him. But we probably won't. So a single... We're going to do them one at a time this time, because apparently one is more than enough. Plus, it's pretty easy to summon more of them, and I mean, we do have knockbacks in other units as well. So, first step, save to max money. Second step, send out Falalan and Hacker Cat. Third step, Crazy Bahama Cat. Then start spamming units. Because, apparently, we get... Well, we don't have no money, but we don't have that much money from doing this. So, you know, all of this is going to be useful. Hopefully three meat shields will be enough. I should have listened. I forgot for a second that they recommended to use three. I was like, oh, two should be enough, right? No, you want to use three. I figured Ramen would do a little bit better than he did. I'm not going to lie. But, I mean, it's not like he did a bad job. Okay, Ramen Cat number two. Don't let them attack my base. You don't get knockback, which I really like. It's a really good quality, I guess, for like a meat shield or tank type unit. I'm gonna send out two now, because there's quite a few hippos, and I don't actually want them bridging back to my base. So hopefully this will be good. We'll get to set both of these out. Or do we just save up for max money, and then start the onslaught? Because maximum money will give us more than enough money to buy all of these units. Well, I'm gonna send out Balan now, send out another ramen. One more, just to make sure he's safe. We'll do Hacker. And then we'll wait a little while longer. I guess maybe we'll wait for the next hippo first, before we send out anything else. Because the hippo will last a little while. And I mean, these cats are super slow and barely move, so we should be able to save a decent amount more money. Not sure how important it is. I'm going to start spamming ramen now. I should have started spamming ramen and stilts. I'm going to do that right about now. And I'm going to summon crazy ramen. Spam meat shields and stilts. That's what I'm going to start. Spam has begun. Hopefully this is going to go pretty well. I have no idea if battle on pass is going to help very much, but... My other option would have been to go for, like, an attack up or a defense up small cat combo. Which wouldn't have been bad, but I don't think it would have been all that useful. I think going for Battleland's probably going to help a little bit more. Because even just the tiny bit of freeze, it might add up. I mean, I guess that's sort of what I was hoping the other person would have done, but that didn't happen. So, just have to wait and see. Oh, this is bad. It may sound good that we can't deploy anymore, but it's bad, because that means that we're going to have a break in meat shields, which is a bad sign. 
a very, very bad sign. Because if there's a break in meat shields, then we will have to wait a little while before we can start our units. The one thing I will say is our saving up money plan worked, like, tremendously, tremendously well. We still can't summon that many units, that's odd. Okay, the knockback's going pretty well. This freeze is nice, I'm sure that'll help. Oh, can't deploy any more units. Great. Uh, in case you're curious, by the way, the cyborgs are basically meant to actually do the damage, which this looks like it's working. We killed the units, we're knocking back infinitely. We're doing good damage with our cyborg stack. If our cyborg stack stays alive, which it's not doing a tremendously good job of doing. Oh, the knockback stack, stop. Please, start knocking back again, good. Um, if we actually did do 20% damage, then that's not bad. We could probably do pretty good damage. Okay, Crazy Bomber Cat's dead. He's not that important, I don't think, though. I don't even know if he got a shot off. But we do have our other units coming through. Hopefully we can do this. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it's just a little bit of luck on our knockbacks. Because knockback is luck-based. It's chance. So if you get unlucky, it's not going to work out. The freeze, I have a feeling, from Battle and Pass Land is going to be nice. Let's our cyborg get quite a few attacks off. Oh, except we're full again, which is not good, because once again, that means there's a gap. That's the advantage of having him close to your base. Oh, Balan's dead, that's not good. But the thing is, I don't know how much health this dude has, and we're about to get another hacker and another, um, uh, Crazy Muhammad. I say another hacker and another Crazy Muhammad, though, but they're both dead. I didn't realize the hacker died, but I guess that makes sense. I'm pretty sure he was even ahead of Crazy Muhammad. Cat Cannon was sent. Hopefully this guy's pretty low on health. I have a feeling he is, since he was at 20% then. We're doing a much better job stalling him with the three meat shields. Hopefully it's going pretty well, except we're almost out of money. Or we... Yeah, we're running out of money, and we don't have crazy vomit. Maybe, though, there is a hippo in Doge, so maybe the hippo and stuff will give us lots of money. We can hope. So that's all we can do at this point. Not that Crazy Bahamut's necessarily worth it, but he's not bad. Okay, we need the stilt, though. Those are really important. Aquacat, he's basically useless now. It's getting closer and closer to our base. You have to die soon, dude, okay? It's really important that you die soon. Don't know if that's gonna happen, but we really need that to happen. Like, we're doing good damage. For all I know, he's at, like, 2% health. But I'm not going to let myself lose, because if I lose, then I waste the treasure radar, which is not worth seeing his health. It's just not. At the same time, he has, like, no health. Or we have, like, no health. Am I going to lose? Am I going to risk the treasure radar just to see? I guess I have no choice, because I lost. Close. 21%. I'm not going to bother. I think we lost that stage. Which really sucks, because I was kind of hoping we could do it. Well, do we want to try something... Um... Okay, so here's the deal. We still need some more XP, so I'm gonna do some Stories of Legends, because that's sort of interesting. We need 120,000 XP, which is probably, honestly, at least two, potentially three of these stages. So we're gonna have to use another leadership, which isn't great. It's not horrible, but it isn't great. Um, and then with him, we're gonna try um, the White Cyclone. Is that smart? That, uh, I, I don't know. We beat White Cyclone once, but now it's a second White Cyclone. That could be way, way worse. I, I honestly don't know. Higher level, our cats are higher level, but at the same time, um, our other stuff isn't higher level. It's worse. Or, not our stuff is worse. They're way stronger, and I'm not sure if our small strength increase is good enough. So this is the load one I'm going to use for Stories of Legends. We're still going to use some ramen cat. Hopefully this goes well. <laughs> I don't know. I hope it does. I have a feeling this is going to go pretty well, but it's hard to know with Stories of Legends. Sometimes it's easy. What a pretty good point in this. It's not that bad. So let's see. Normal Almond Cat against normal enemies. No longer Angel. You don't have your advantage. How do you do without your advantage, little guy? How well do you serve your Almond? Pretty good. I mean, Penguin's not the strongest enemies, but he's not doing bad. Not at all. He's saving us some money, which is his job. That's the job of a meat shield. And he's definitely way more reliable than my other meat shield, so I'll take it. Okay, now we actually get to start spamming units. I could save for Wendy, but am I gonna bother? Nah, probably not. I don't really see the point, honestly. I don't think it's that useful. Plus, I'm honestly more than happy to just spam my whale cats and things. They do pretty comparable DPS. Though, I mean, if you give us lots of money, which you were doing there for a second, I will summon Wendy. 
if you give me the option to. Yeah, stories of legends, stories of legends. It's pretty easy right now, which is good because I am stuck once again on Into the Future. I say stuck. I tried the stage once and I died to the boss when the boss had 2% health. So am I really stuck? It was actually a red ball, coincidentally. So am I actually stuck on the level? Sort of. Could I easily beat the level? Uh, definitely. But, I mean, there's no real point pushing one level. I still think I have like 11 to go till the chapter end. Pushing one level is not going to matter much since I'm still not going to be able to beat the final stage. So, you know, no real reason to rush that. I figured, hey, we'll get some more cat evolutions. Maybe we'll- oh, there's another one of those guys. That's not good. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll get some better upgrades to better, I don't know. We'll get some cat upgrades. We'll get some more true forms. It's good. Having that golden background, it's a sign that they're much stronger than the rest of my cats. I have four here now, that's not bad. The next, who knows. I want the next to be can can, but that requires me to get an epic cat fruit, which... I don't know if that's gonna happen, because... Well, there's no cat fruit I'm a phase, so I can't get a guaranteed jubilee, and even if I do get a cat fruit jubilee, doesn't mean I'm actually gonna get a, well, epic cat fruit from it. Hey, we got a feather. I actually have upgraded my cat base twice now with feathers, but I need six more to upgrade it again. That was 55,000 XP. Okay, this is a lot more energy. Hopefully this will give us all the XP. Oh, I'm health leadership. Okay, we've used two leaderships now. Hopefully if we beat this, this will be enough XP. If not, then that sucks, and that means we're gonna ha Oh, hello. Hello, floating heads. I don't really like you. Um, I know what I'm saving up for. Don't know if I can save up for it, though. Island, please. Please come, Island. Okay, we got Island. Also, actually, Roman's been a big help with that stage, but now he's gonna take for Island. And Island will help. What? Oh, it's Teacher Bun Bun too? So much stuff. This was a fast-paced level. I was not expecting this. I'm not necessarily disappointed with it, though. It basically just means, hey, you wanna get all of your units really quickly and beat the stage super fast? Yeah, I'm okay with that. Floating heads, I always find it so terrifying because they look really strong. They look like, oh, they're just as powerful as the normal heads, except fast. But no, they are really, really weak compared to the normal heads. But, you know, really, really fast, and they usually come as, like, rushers at the beginning of the level, so still dangerous. Teacher Bun Bun, though, is probably the real threat here. Um, but I mean, it's another Bun Bun. It was scary once in Chapter 3 Moon. As you can see, not so scary anymore. That's probably it for the level. It's definitely possible there's going to be another boss, but I doubt it. Yeah, maybe it's a couple more heads, but nothing too bad. This should be pretty easy. And hopefully this will give us enough XP. It definitely might. It honestly seems a little random. You get like around half the XP, the, like half thousand XP to the energy you spent on a Stories of Legends level. But it's not always the same. Some give you a little more, some give you a little less. So for lucky, we'll get a little over 60k and we'll have enough. Well, I don't think it's- I think it's actually a little under, but want to be safe. Please give me a bit more than 60k, like 70,000 would be great. 73,000, we got another feather too. We have enough. Okay, Monk Cat, time for your evolution. So today has been a success. Success. Uh, I'd say it's been pretty good. So we have- What? I'm missing a red cat food seed. I miscounted something, didn't I? Really? We're missing one red cat food seed. So much for the double evolution. We don't get another red cat food seed till I think it's Wednesday. Well, that really sucks. I mean, we'll see. Maybe there'll be another option soon, but that stinks. Um, do we dare try White Cyclone 2 without it? Eh, why not? We're gonna lose anyway. What's the conditions? Max number of deployable cats 10? Oh, that sounds wonderful. Roman Cat's actually really good here because he gives me a much stronger uh, meat shield that, well, it's less. It takes up less spaces, obviously. So what do we want to do here? Um, the one thing I do think I want to do is looking at the cat combo list. None of these are too great, but resistance if we get um, that person cat, the special cat. Okay, so you are going in front. Da -da, this isn't good. I need you to be replaced there. I actually don't want you at all. Um, so I believe it's in special, if we get out, you, mother cat, you swap out, you need to be up front with this person, and there we go. 
I'm just gonna do that. So our cat combos are set up. We have two meat shields in case we need it. Um, we're still gonna be using, what's his face? Normal, I'm a normal monk cat. Oh, it sucks, he could've been better. But I think the main bonus he gets is area attack, so I don't know how important that really would've been. Is that what we go for? I think so. I'm tempted to go for um, Hacker Cat, he's pretty useful. Um, I'm gonna take out the wall cat. I think one week chill is probably good. And I think I'm gonna go with that. I mean, what's the worst that can happen after all? If we do win this though, I think we get a million XP, which... I mean, I could definitely use a million XP, I'm not gonna lie. Ramen cat, do your best. You have two buffs, you have 10% more damage and 10% more health. Hopefully that's enough. Let's see how powerful these are. There's a lot of them, I'm gonna send out another. These are plain ones, I'm gonna send out some more ramen cats. Mm, mistake, good idea. Wow, they really do just give you like infinite money on the stage. Well, max level, oh wait, there's a limit though. There's only 10 cat units. Um. Yes, Windy. And then you, you, you. Yeah, that's right. There's a limit of, like, if we have three expensive cats. So, yeah, I mean, we have three expensive cats, but then this is, like, our only options. We have very few other cats. One more cyborg. I mean, maybe the whale would have been better, or maybe the island cat would have been better in this situation. Who knows? We have practically infinite money. The only question is... Um, can we actually kill them? Because although we have lots of money, we don't have infinite cooldowns. The Sloth. I remember this level. So we easily beat the Cyclone, if I remember correctly. But then the, um, ooh, he's slow. That worked out well. Good job, Monkat. You did a good job. Um, but then the Sloth took absolutely forever. I don't remember it being that hard, though, is the thing. So maybe we're good. We'll use another Cat Cannon. Yeah, I think he has a lot of knockbacks, this dude. Except he's gonna kill them really quickly. Yeah. Because just because we can deal with, like, we can actually do that, doesn't mean we can actually survive. Though we know he can officially be slowed and weakened, which is pretty good. And if it weren't for the delay on resummoning units, this would be so, so much easier. But we have, like, 10 units, that cooldown makes it way harder. Otherwise, this level would be easy, like, super easy. But instead, we have, like, this is our limit. Luckily, the soft is super duper slow, so he's still pretty far away. Oh yeah, we have no hope. We're doomed. Like, absolutely no way we're beating the stage. We almost have a Windy back, that would be good, but that's not, that's not enough. Not in the slightest. Though actually, I say that, this isn't going too bad, but they're gonna attack our base sooner or later, right? We have a Windy up, that's something. Hmm. Are we as doomed as I thought? I'm not sure that we are. Um, come on, Windy. I know it's slow, but it won't be slowed for long. And it instantly killed us. How much damage did we do? Did we do any? Good damage? Bad damage? 50%. Uh, the thing is, both of those Cyclone stages we could probably beat, but I don't think we're going to be able to. So you know what? We did a decent amount today still. We got some XP. We did evolve at least one cat. I'll probably evolve Sanzo Cat off camera, because whatever. Um, Why are you saying... Oh, right, because we got a new rare cat. We did two cat draws. We got Witch Cat and all that, which is great. We did still get, where is it? Where is he? Ramen Cat, we still got our good boy here. He's pretty powerful. I mean, I guess I did bad math with Sanzo Cat, and then we lost to two Cyclones, so yeah. And we didn't get an Epic Cat Fruit. Eh, we're making progress, slowly but surely. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe and join the Purple Elephant Squad. It makes my day, it's super nice, and I really do appreciate it. We've been growing very quickly lately. We're just shy of 670 right now. The month is almost done. Today is the last day, but there's only two left. We could probably make it to 670, so if you want to make that happen, thanks. Um, have a wonderful Friday, wonderful start to your weekend. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!